once upon a Christmas. In a beautiful palace. A king was reunited with his queen. But before that happened, in a land far, far away, a place where dreams are made is where their story first began. There was a princess. <laughs> You're calling me? Can't text. I'm getting ready to go get a Christmas tree with my mom. You know how seriously she takes these mother-daughter outings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can't hang out later then, right? You're making this year's ornament. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, do you like those blue earrings that I just got? Oh, depends. They clash with your homecoming tiara. So? You're totally wearing it right now. Well, it's so pretty. <laughs> OK, Queen Lily. <laughs> Text you later. OK, bye. This one reminds me of the trees we used to get when I was little. Should we take it? We don't have a tiny apartment anymore. Why do we need a tiny tree? Well, I know, but it's so cute. Then what if no one else buys it? All right, how about this? I'll take this one to the office, and you pick out one for the house. And remember, the one you pick out, you have to carry. Mommy's got a broken pinky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is a Christmas ball from when you're obsessed with ballet. <laughs> this is the Christmas ball from when we took that awesome vacation in Mexico. Oh, that was so much fun. Yes. You know, when I was little, I thought everybody made memory ornaments. No, just your overly sentimental mom. Taylor's mom doesn't have any special ornaments. They're all just gold and silver. That sounds... Elegant. <laughs> and boring. <laughs> uh, we have it good, don't we? The two of us? Yeah, we do. Why don't we go paint this year's ornament? Someone I know did make honor roll. Well, someone else is building a million houses in Hideaway Oaks. <laughs> it's only six. Five models. But it's still really cool, Mom. Oh, thanks. Let's go. <laughs>
Spice poinsettia, I'm a more Yes, ma'am. And don't overdo it with the rosemary. It's starting to smell like roast chicken in here. Emil? Victor? Ma'am. Yeah. Charles, how are you feeling? I'm fine, Rosa. You paid for our excursion to California? It's not too soon, is it? The Queen has been gone for almost a year now. Yes, but... And this meeting with the American investors is important. The ski resort they want to build will create hundreds of jobs and bring many tourists to our little country. Yes, of course. I'm just worried about your returning to Los Angeles after all these years. Will your nostalgia for your university days be It was 17 years ago. You're being silly. Possibly. daughter dinner night. So I want you to decide what you want to eat, okay? Um, pizza. We had pizza last week. Mom, I love pizza. No pizza. <laughs> Your Highness? Yes, Lorena. You've instructed the staff to sort through the Queen's private chambers. We are securing her jewels in the vault. But I wondered if perhaps there was something you'd like to keep for yourself. It was my mother's. I know. Thank you, Lorena. That will be all. My name is Marcus, and I'm the manager here at the luxury Seaside Hotel. Welcome, Your Highness. Please give us a moment. Are you sure you want to stay here? I made a backup reservation at the hotel where Baron and Baroness Usoge stayed. Our potential business partners on this hotel, it seems only appropriate. But the other hotel is much more secluded. It's also 10 miles inland. Have you really been to Los Angeles if you don't stay at the beach? Right? Everybody's happy. Marcus, we're ready to check in. You will have to keep especially close tabs on him here. Of course, ma'am. Please instruct the so-called manager to be more discreet. I'm going away. <sighs> Marina! Good morning, Ava. Check your email. Looks like they finished construction on the first model home at Hideaway Oaks. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Walls are going up on floor plan number two, but they want us to look at the kitchen design for three. The microwave drawer? Mm -hmm. Builders are getting feedback. People don't like it. So they want us to do another option where they can just move it to a regular microwave. I get it. 
We had a microwave when Lily was little. I microwaved everything. <laughs> Are you coming to what? A father daughter ski trip? It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I don't know about skiing. I'm such a klutz. Well, maybe they have a father daughter go to the launch for hot chocolate trip. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that father-daughter ski trip thing. I was trying to get them off topic. No, it's okay. It's not their fault. I mean, everybody else we know has a dad to bring on the ski trip, and I never even met mine. Don't even know his name. Your mom still won't talk about it? No. It, I mean, it makes her sad, so I stopped asking. Hey, at least you don't have Katie's dad. I mean, every school event, he's always on his phone threatening to fire someone in his office. <laughs> okay, true. Lorena. Your Highness. Uh, may I borrow your tablet, please? Rosa has not set up a secure Wi-Fi network for my computer yet, and I wanted to look something up. I can get you any information. That's fine, I can do it. I may have mentioned that I attended university here in Los Angeles many years ago. I used to take these long, reflective drives. This is one particular route with my favorite ocean views, and I can't seem to remember the name of it. That sounds very nice, Your Highness. Oh, and look at that cute little thing. How was Christmas tree shopping? It was okay. The holidays are hard for her. She really feels the absence of her father that much more. Well, I know you do more on your own than most two-parent families. Lily's a lucky girl. Thank you. So, we can drive you. It's our job, Your Highness. The driving is the fun part. I rarely afforded the opportunity at home. Some of my fondest memories from my days at university are tooling around town in a sports car, much like this one. Tooling around, sir? You'll follow close behind, gentlemen. Nothing to worry about. I can tell Ambassador Rosa myself if that's your concern. Uh, of course not, Your Highness. Well, then let's go see the Pacific, shall we? Why? I had this late lunch date. With who? Ugh, girl, I don't know. It was set up by one of those executive matchmaking companies. I hate these horrible dates. It would be a lot more tolerable if you would just join me. I'm not going on a horrible double date with you. No, thanks. <laughs> Besides, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. When have you 